have the nerve to I just got a special phone call. Y'all not gonna believe this. <laughs> I was like, what do you buy a man for Valentine's Day? <laughs> sure you can look down below in the description box all the info will be there but this is pretty much the curl pattern of the hair all I did was go through and put a little bit of curls just at the bottom and at the top and that's it it just all blended in seamlessly as you guys can see I did not glue this unit down at all you don't have to do anything to it it comes completely out the box just ready to wear it and go there is no lace to cut there is nothing to pluck you don't need to put baby hairs. You don't have to glue it down. Literally take it out the box, pop it on, and you can go. You don't even have to do the curl that I did. Literally, it was just ready to go. As you see, it has the perfect hairline. It does go from ear to ear, so it is a full frontal unit. This is their nine by six HD lace. So you, there's a lot of parting space. It already came with the middle part, so that's how I left it, but you can definitely part it on the side. You can brush it back and you don't have to have a part at all. The lace lays flat, snug on the hairline. The lace has very tiny knots, so you don't have to work, worry about anybody trying to clock your lace. If they're trying to clock your lace, baby, they are too close to you. Y'all look how full this is. You guys, y'all need this wig. I'm telling y'all, y'all need this wig. Y'all see how beautiful and full it is? It's actually a 26 inch wig, y'all. So if you stretch it, it comes way past the waist. It is definitely butt length if you were to flat iron this hair. But with the curls, this is like the perfect length on me. This is where it comes to the middle of my back. And yeah, it's just super cute. I love it. Y'all know me, I love a good curly unit. You guys check them out. Thank you so much to Icy Hair for sponsoring today's video. And they don't have just deep wave. If you guys want a straight wig, a bob wig, bundles, whatever, they have everything for you. You guys check them out. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna be rocking it for a few days, so 
it just puts me in the mind of going on a vacation. I need a vacation soon. Please, vacation me. All right, y'all. Stay tuned for the vlog. Hey besties, welcome back to the vlog. This will be probably a weekend vlog. Um, even though today is Thursday, it's 9 p.m. I have not vlogged all day today because I've been sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice still, but um, my, cold, my cold started really kicking in Tuesday night. And then Wednesday when I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I'm all the way sick, which was yesterday. I'm all the way sick. And then once the afternoon hit, it was just a decline, decline, decline. Yesterday, I slept more hours than I was awake. It was like I slept all day, woke up to eat a little something, went back to sleep, woke up to pick Ashen up from school, came home, went back to sleep, then woke up and picked up Ethan from practice, went back to sleep. You know, thankfully, I didn't have to cook yesterday because the kids had leftovers. But um, And then today, I made a really quick meal rice put some chicken in the oven and just a super quick meal for the kids but um that's why i'm picking up the camera at nine o'clock at night just to kind of give you guys an update and if you saw in the last vlog i was telling you guys how i fell in the shower and bust my ass look at my bruise and it wraps around my arm like it wraps around on my leg as well too so, all I can say is, I praise this to God that I did not hit my head, hit my face, a tooth, nothing. I know when you hear people fall, a lot of people, their first instinct is to laugh. To me, it's not funny. I don't know. I never find, um, I don't find it funny when I hear people fall just because that's how my grandfather died. He fell and he never recovered and he wound up dying like a week after that. Um, a lot of older people fall and that is what takes them out, which is so crazy to think about. But I just like, I'm just so glad that I didn't hit my head because it could have been much worse. Knock a tooth out, anything, you know, just got some war wounds. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, y'all, I did not do anything today. I slept most of the day today. I was sweating, baby. I had... Day sweat, night sweat, headache, horrible headache. This is just day two of my period also on top of Anyway, so that's all. I was just checking in with y'all because I just wanted to let y'all know because I think I ended my last vlog telling y'all that how sick I was and how I was stuck in bed. <laughs> and I had a lot of stuff planned. It's so crazy. I had a lot of stuff planned for the next few days. Yesterday, I was supposed to go out with Tanya, canceled that. Tonight, I was supposed to go to dinner with my friends. We rescheduled for Saturday. And then tomorrow, I was supposed to go on a little road trip with Portia. She's moving back to uh, Texas, and so she was going to be looking at some houses, I believe she said in Fort Worth. One of those army base cities, Fort Wayne, Fort... Maybe not Fort Wayne, Fort, Fort something. Anyways... I was supposed to go with her tomorrow, but her and her mama leaving at 6 a.m. And I'm like, oh, Lord, my kids' school don't even open till 8.15 because my plan was to drop the kids off at school and then go meet up with her and then have Byron pick the kids up. But she was like, no, girl, my first appointment is at 10 a.m. She was like, we got to leave early. So I was like, I'm not going to be able to make it. I said, baby, we can go to dinner this weekend or something whenever you get back, so. Maybe me and her try to go to dinner Sunday or Monday or something, lunch or something, you know. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. I might watch Griselda. Um, I've had vlogs just going all day, but to actually sit down and pay attention to something, I haven't done that because it's like I'm just like in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep, and then not feeling good. So we'll see. It's so crazy on my For You page. I'm like, I know her. She looks familiar. And this is the video. So if any of y'all are around my age, then y'all know 
she used to be known as Superhead. But when you go to her Instagram page, her name is Elizabeth Olsen, and it is just art. This is her page, nothing but art and museums, art and museums. She has really reinvented herself. It is so crazy that she had such a crazy name in the music industry back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And now she has totally reinvented herself. The way she dresses. She's so cute. You can really reinvent yourself and change the narrative. She stays out of the media. Like, I don't hear nothing about her no more. Stays out of the media. And I just happened to run across her page on my For You. On my Explore page, whatever it's called. That's crazy. But there's other girls like, um... <coughs> Mir <coughs> oh, excuse me. Miracle Watts, y'all know she um, was like a known Houston dancer, video girl back in the day. And now she dates that guy, Tyler, Tyler LePay. And just, she has reinvented her whole brand herself. She's a mom now. If you watch her on YouTube, like you wouldn't even think like, that's the girl I remember shaking her ass in the club. Like, I, a lot of the famous strippers that you guys know, like, they have made their way through Houston, and I've, like, actually seen them dance in person. So, it's just crazy that she... You can reinvent yourself, ladies. Like, you really can. You don't have to be stuck in this box of who you were when you were younger, you know? Just like, who else has changed their name? Um... Alexis Sky, same with her. She was used to be a dancer here in Houston, and she was in videos twerking and stuff. I think she used to have OnlyFans and all that. Now, if you go to her page, she wears suits and wide leg pants, and she be covered up, and she wears loafers, and she's like just this businesswoman, gorgeous, beautiful businesswoman that you wouldn't even think had like a name for herself a few years back, you know? But you can definitely reinvent yourself. So that's cool to see Superhead. I don't even want to call her that. Because that's kind of Elizabeth Olsen. And I'm probably saying that wrong. You know. To reinvent themselves. Just like Black China. Because I don't think. I think Black China. Her Instagram is still Black China. Let me see. But I know she says she wanted to go by Angela. Yeah. Her Instagram is still Black China. But she was saying that she didn't want to be known as that anymore. But maybe she's keeping the name on her social media for like business reasons. I don't know. <clears throat> but she says she wanted people to call her Angela. So, But anyways, y'all, let me get off of here. I feel the, the phlegm building up in the back of my throat. It's like <clears throat> it's building up. So let me go. I might pick y'all back up later. I might not. I don't know. But see y'all tomorrow. Happy Friday, besties. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I had about either eight or nine hours of sleep last night. I went to bed earlier than usual and I woke up feeling so much better. I'm not 100%. You can still hear the nasal in my voice. I'm still hacking up phlegm every, I want to say, 10 minutes or less. I'm, my nose is still running like a faucet, but my headache is gone my random sweats have pretty much went away i did sweat in the middle of the night last night and then i did kind of randomly sweat a little bit this morning um but it's gotten better i feel a lot better um i don't feel good enough to like i wouldn't want to like go to dinner or anything today and hang out with people or go drinking i don't feel that kind of good but I feel like I could go to the mall if I wanted to. You know, something like. But um, not really doing much. Um, just really laying around, watching TV. Y'all know I just got back into... Did she kiss him? Y'all know I just started watching Married to Medicine. Chad, is Dr. Jackie back with this man? I told her, hold on, pause. Where's my... Hold on. 
Hold on. Pause real quick. Remember I told y'all I tried to watch Married to Medicine when it was new. I watched a few episodes years ago. And then my sister recently said, it's so good, it's so good, Gina. Watch it, watch it, watch it. So I started from last season. So I watched all of last season and I'm caught up um, on this season currently. But there was years in between where I didn't watch it. But I do remember this big, nasty, crusty, old, goblin, ugly, old, crispy creature cheated on her. Can you imagine this ugly? Can you imagine being cheated on by that? And then she went back to him. Can somebody please catch me up while they're back together? I did not know they was back together. Wait a minute. Hold on. What did I miss? She doesn't wear a ring. And then a few episodes ago, they did like a yoga class. And she was talking about the yoga instruction needs to come work her out. But she just kept, are they back together or are they just friends? That pissed me off when he cheated on her. Because it's like, child, let me get <laughs> Oh, at what age do men stop? What age does it stop? People always say, oh, it's the young guys in their 20s and 30s who just, they cheaters, they dogs, they calm down when they in their 40s. This big lump of hunk of, uh, uh, that man gotta be every bit of 60. And he done cheated? I think he took another woman on vacation and she and Dr. Jackie didn't even find out till it was all over the, on the news. Uh-uh. When do they stop? Do they ever stop? Or is that just something that you got to deal with for, forever? They going to spread themselves thin like until they 70 years old, till they in the grave? Anyways, uh, I was just checking in with y'all. Let me get back to this show because I need to see is she... Is she back with him? Why? Why, Dr. Jackie? I'm back. This fool. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can fast forward if y'all don't watch Mary Medicine. But this fool have the nerve to sit up here with. Look at his face. He's so ugly. Look at his face. He got the nerve to be mad at her for asking him to go on a, a couple strip. Look at his face. He's pissed off. He's pissed off and talking about they need to mind their business. They don't need to be questioning nothing. They don't need to be saying nothing. That's my business, not their business. Sir, you was in public at the airport with your hand on another woman's ass going on vacation. Those are her friends. Yeah, her friends are going to have an attitude with you because they love her. You, your funky ass, Bigfoot sloppy ass got the nerve to have an attitude? Let me press play again. I, I might be back. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Guess what? Guess what? I just got a special phone call. Y'all not gonna believe this shit. My baby's ready. My bitch is ready. My car is ready. <laughs> my car is ready. My car is ready. Eh, eh, my car is ready. Uh, uh, my car is ready. Y'all don't understand. A few, just a few days short of five months. Five months, y'all. Almost half a year. Almost half a year. What was the exact date? My car went in the shop. Hold on, we about to look right now. September 17th. September 17th. Some idiots were speeding down the street and hit my shit. Uh -huh. And it is just now finished today. He called me and he was like, I got some good news for you. Your car is ready. You can come pick it up. I'm like, oh my God, finally. He's like, the only thing, the battery in your key fob is out. I'm like, of course, of course there wouldn't be a little hiccup, but that's fine though. That's fine, that's fine. 
Um, I believe I have a spare key in my room. If I'm not mistaken, I gotta look. But my car is done. So I'm about to call um, an Uber and have them take me to the shop. So yeah, we just got a little care package from my people over at Prime. Thank you so much to Drink Prime, y'all. Check them out, they're in all stores. Grocery stores, convenience stores. Ugh, they're everywhere and they keep me stocked up. Thank you to them. Oh, I'm so excited. Ugh. Yes. So. All right, well, that's what I'm about to do. I guess I can go ahead and call, no. Let me change my clothes, let me. Yeah. He was like, you gotta be here before six o'clock or else you gotta get it on Monday because we're not open on the weekends. I said, I will be there before six. Don't you worry your little head. <laughs> Y'all, look who's back. Oh my God, it's like I'm getting a new car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My name's Gina. Um, thank you. Oh wow. My baby's back. Okay, so he said that the battery. Oh yeah, the battery's going dead on it. It's oh. going dead? Okay. What you have to do, it, I mean, it obviously tells you right there. So whenever you want to turn it on, so the thing is going dead, just put the key fob right here. So I'll put the... I'm sorry, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Chris gave me a call. You said just if you ever get a minute, you just give us a Yeah, I don't even remember how to work my car. How do I work my car? How do I turn this down? It's blowing too cold in my face. I don't know how to work my car. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Child. You know, I know what's so crazy. What am I doing? Oh, child, I'm, I'm doing the uh the windshield thing because that's how it is in my, uh, my new car. But the little thing is right down here on this car. Okay. Okay, drive. I'm in drive. Press OK. Where is my key fob? I think I just threw everything down. Okay, my key fob is right here. Let me make sure. Oh, my Lord. This cup I've been looking for and it still got... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm nervous, y'all. It's almost like it's gonna sound crazy because y'all know my, my new car is so luxury. Getting back in my regular car, it's like trash compared to my new car. Okay, let's speed up. Let's get used to this driving again. Oh my God. <laughs> If y'all get annoyed, annoyed about people being giddy and laughing and acting silly, fast forward this part, okay? I ain't even gonna be mad at you fast forward. But y'all just gotta understand, five months of paying a car note for a car that I did not have. Okay, let me put my GPS, where am I going? Where's the free route? Yeah, take me the freeway. There we go. I don't want to pay nobody toll. Ooh. Yeah, that's how I remember her driving. She wasn't very, very smooth. The steering wheel's a little stiffer than normal. Yeah, this is this what I remember. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I got to take her for a nice detail tomorrow. I might hire somebody to come to the house and detail both cars tomorrow. That's probably what I need to do. I need to book a uh, a person to come detail both cars and just treat my babies right to a nice bath. Oh, Lord. Because when he said I'm getting her all cleaned up, I'm thinking of, uh, uh, well, okay, they, they washed the outside. They didn't wash the inside. The inside is filthy McNasty, okay? Filthy. Where I'm supposed to be going now? Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Well... Let me enjoy my car and get my little settings back to how they work because the time is in military time. 
the station is on a station I don't listen to, so I'll be back. I'm about to pick Ashton up. I'm gonna see what she gotta say about the car, cause y'all know she is misopinionated. Oh, look at her dancing. Look at her dance. She's so silly. She's so silly. She was outside the car dancing. Thought she was about to talk some trash. Our car! It looks like nothing happened to it. The value and opportunity. What is this for? It's just try I need to get I need to get the car cleaned. That was probably to protect the seat of the floor. Because like like even my girlfriends came. Like, what? Aiden came, Cliff came, yeah, it was fun. Aiden came. So who played football? Just spent $230 at the grocery store. And I'm about to order dinner. Yeah. I'm about to order some dinner. Watching my booze. Can I fit? And pause them for a minute. Yeah, y'all. I don't know. Y'all know I'm sick. <laughs> I don't feel like even thinking about a meal, cooking a meal. I don't feel like doing none of that. Maybe tomorrow. I did buy um some meat to make a pot roast so I can just throw that in the um, crock pot so I might do that tomorrow or Sunday <clears throat> we'll see but I actually do have leftovers from last night because y'all know Ashton didn't even eat last night so I really should make her eat that and then order me and eat them some food but y'all know I ain't gonna do my baby like this I might just uh, say that for lunch tomorrow um yeah, chill Friday. I need to go back outside and figure out how I'm going to lock my car with a dead key. He showed me how to turn my car on with the dead key, but how do I lock it? I might gotta get on TikTok and figure it out. Yeah. I remember my car locking on its own, like it would just automatically lock. Like my Mercedes does not automatically lock. It, it'll it send me a, a thing to my app. Like your car is unlocked and I have to lock it through the app. But if I remember correctly, yeah, it's like I have a new car. Like it's literally like I have a new car. I'm relearning everything again. Five months really isn't that long, but it is when you got acclimated to a totally different car, totally different setup. So anyways, I'm about to go see what I can do to lock this car. And y'all, I have... This that I have bought for my um, key fob, but it looks like I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit for sure. I wonder if I'm past the time to return this. How is this so little? Maybe this is for the newer Range Rovers. My key it, my, is way bigger than this little case. So hopefully I'm not past the time to return this, but I think it was probably about ten dollars. Amazon run me my coin. Your return window closed January thirty first. Damn, two days off. A waste of fifteen dollars. It was thirteen ninety nine plus tax. So a waste of fifteen dollars. Oh well, it is what it is. That's what I get. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go figure this out. Hey y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. At this point, I've already been up for about an hour and a half. Just was laying in bed, um, watching YouTube videos. <laughs> but I was really awakened. I probably still well, I probably still wouldn't be asleep right now, but I would have definitely slept a little bit longer. I was woken up by a screaming banshee upstairs on a video game. Yeah. So, update. I'm feeling a lot better today. A lot, a lot, a lot. Hold on, let me adjust y'all a little bit. It's like showing too much counter. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But, um, I'm feeling so 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 much better i would say i'm about 
75% better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 75%. I'm about to make, I don't know if I want egg bites. Yeah, I'm gonna eat egg bites. I, was about to say, I don't know if I want egg bites or some tuna. <laughs> These are the egg bites that I eat. Y'all can definitely make these at home for the Lolo. That's really what I need to start doing. Y'all know I'm lazy. I like to just take them out, pop them in the uh, microwave. Okay, so I got that in the microwave. I ordered so much stuff online last night. I got online to start um, looking for Valentine's Day gifts for my boyfriend. I was like, what do you buy a man for Valentine's Day? I, stuff that I've done in the past, I've made a gift card bouquet. I have made a basket with gift cards and mini bottles of liquor, um, clothes, shoes, like basic stuff like that. Why is this not, it's getting on my nerve. So anyways, I just ordered him some stuff that I thought. <laughs> He might like and also need you know so while i was doing that i ordered so much stuff for myself too i'm gonna have a nice a big haul coming up from fashion nova gap and skims oh my god i went i went crazy especially at skims a lot of the, her stuff on the website her sales stuff is like 50 to 60 percent off and then I found a coupon on Retail Me Not for the regular price stuff, a 50% off coupon, and it works. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Even though I put a lot of stuff on my wish list, I did order, I think the order that I have coming in is like 15 items. And those are all from the clearance section. But I'm like, I can't believe I actually found a 50% off coupon on Retail Me Not for Skims. I, I kind of want to try their shapewear. I've never worn shapewear before, but it's like, I kind of want to try it. So I might, I don't know. And it's a little expensive too. And then it's like a hassle trying to return stuff. I, if I remember correctly, she charges like a $7 like restocking fee, like something crazy. So what's on the agenda for today, this lovely Saturday? It was supposed to rain all day today, and it rained all yet. It started, the rain started yesterday evening and continued throughout the middle of the night. I want to say I heard storming probably all the way up to like 2 a.m., and now it's nice and beautiful. I have a, um, a mobile detailer coming to my house to wash both of my cars, and... I wanted him to do it today so I could be, you know, fresh and shining for the weekend. But he was like, it's going to rain all day. And I checked the weather. And I'm like, oh, it sure is. And of course, a bipolar-ass Houston weather, it is blue skies and sunny. Don't even look like ain't a cloud in the sky. I really hate that he couldn't come today. I did text him to see if he had. So, anyways, Ethan's supposed to be going to the movies later. Ashton, I don't know what she's doing later but it's supposed to be a little chauffeur today because i think ashton has said she wanted to go to like some jumping place with her friends i don't know child when they say a mother's work is never done the weekend ain't mine <laughs> shoot the weekend is theirs we ate chilies last night i rinsed this to-go cup out and we reusing it today. Mm -hmm. Minute Maid uh, orange juice has fallen off. Oh my God. It was cheaper than the HEB orange juice. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it. It's so crazy how generic be tasting so much better. Like why? Remind me not to buy that no more. Uh-uh. Mm. It tastes like Tang. Y'all know, y'all remember Tang from when we was in, uh, kids? That's what it's giving. We're at our first destination. First destination, Bounce. Y'all see it? Bounce, Bounce. 
so she getting dropped off with her little friends. Yeah. And she already have a little attitude because I'm trying to tell her. Yeah, she's like, she's like, we don't uh, no, I'm trying to tell her people will steal your shoes. These are some popular shoes. No, you know, yes they are. So I said you need to put your shoes by the girl's grandma. And she's like, but I don't know where she's at. This and that. You got two hours. I paid for two hours for you, baby. All right. Okay, go. No, bye. 120 is three hours. 120 minutes? Yes, that's, that's three two hours. hours, baby. 60 minutes is an hour. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Right. Yes. Okay, bye. Um, Make sure your phone. Yeah. Bye. Okay, I got about an hour till the next one needs to get dropped off somewhere. I got a question. Would y'all eat? five month old gum this has been sitting in this car for the past five months that i haven't had it now it ain't a lot in here it's only about seven pieces left but do you think i just need to throw it away and get a new pack the pack is only like 2.99 but it's gum does gum go bad the temperatures did fluctuate i get high and low high and low high and low so like my, I keep snacks in here. Like I usually keep like granola bars and nuts and stuff. I threw those away. But gum? Do I need to throw my gum away? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't fully thought about that one yet. Y'all let me know. Does gum go bad? We are now at Ross. It is hot and steamy up in here, and I don't understand why. Y'all need eco gel? I think I told y'all before, they sell it here. It's only a little bit cheaper because I got mine. I just did a Target uh, online order. This was, I think, $4.15, and here it's $3.99. So, I mean, you save about 20 cents. But we're about to, uh, I need some shampoo, conditioner. Well, Ashley needs shampoo and conditioner. So, shampoo. And usually when I see these, I pick them up. These right here. I have a whole collection of Suave at home because y'all know I, I still do my little couponing deals at CVS. I be stocking up on my soaps. But, oh, they got Barbie. Is it on sale? The big wig, thickening conditioner. It's cute. It's just a cute little. Yeah. Okay. Y'all got, Ross, y'all need some organization going on because what is, what what is all this? And I just found this. I just text Ethan to see if he wants it. I would be highly shocked if he says he does want it. Let's see. He says no. He said no. And when I first moved in my house, a lot of y'all were asking, how come you didn't decorate the kids' rooms? How come you didn't decorate the kids' rooms? So baby, I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. And they all told me I have terrible taste. <laughs> Well, they didn't say it like that, but I mean, everything I would take pictures of and send them and say, you like this, this cute, I bought you this, so it, return, return, return. Uh -huh. They have sesame oil. I love shopping out of the um, food section at Ross because a lot of times they have stuff that you just don't find at the regular grocery store. Random just sliced jalapenos. Update on the bruise, y'all, it's gotten worse. I bust my ass for real. I said I wasn't buying any more syrup because I have coffee syrup for days, but just straight coconut. I've never. Why not? Why not? There's chicken sauce, dipping sauce. Do y'all know I bought that pink sauce from Dollar Tree and never tried it? It's still just sitting in my refrigerator. Ethan tried it and he was like, it don't taste like nothing. Coconut oil for $3.99. Don't mind if I do. I don't even know if that's a good price, but don't mind if I do. Okay, we in the bath section. But the dilemma your girl is having is everything says bathtub mat. So, which means long and narrow. Okay. I don't think, so this one's already open. This is for like the bottom of a bathtub. What about a shower mat that's more... Maybe this is the right length. 
maybe this is the right length. I don't know. It was just giving me very long. I definitely don't want this color. I was thinking more so this one is technically clear, but as you see, it's like white. Then there's this one that's like spiky. This seems like it would be comfortable on the feet. And I was like, I want to get both. But then I hate to return one, you know? Look at this cute little fabric shaver. And it's only $3.99. I think I paid like $8 for mine on Amazon. And then this scale. A nice little sleek black scale, 10 bucks. I think I paid like 30 for mine on Amazon. I need to start making more Ross trips because clearly magic hangers. Y'all don't see these, these are space savers. Look, $3.99. I bet you anything this is on Amazon for like $8.99 or more, probably more. This is so pretty to me this whole little get up right here hold on let me show y'all everything because they got the toothbrush holder the soap the cup the cotton ball holder they have the whole dupe I like that that's pretty and they have it in cream too for the aesthetic minimal girlies. This is actually, I think I like this better than the black. I like that, that's cute. Yeah, I think Ross got poppy. I wonder if this is a savings. I don't think it is. $8 for four? I'm about to look online. I think they like $2.50 each in the store. So, you save a dollar. So if y'all like poppy, go to your local house, you'll save a little bit of money. Midge it open. Oh, okay. And then the cover goes back on. Key goes back in. Wait a minute. I'm gonna break a nail. Trying to change my battery, y'all. I'm watching a, a YouTube video. Got it open. Here's the battery. Y'all know I say I pay for convenience. I was this close to just going up to Range Rover and saying, hey, can y'all put a new battery in my key fob? They would have charged me a small fortune, I'm quite sure. So. Let's see if your girl can do it herself for five bucks because that's how much I pay for this at Target. How do I get this out? I got a widget. Key goes back in. Cover back on. Pause, nigga. There we go. Pause. What the hell? Okay. Do I got to reprogram it or well, should it just work because the new battery's in now? Okay, let's go see. What? Girl. She, she got jokes. On the chair, the seat that's in my shower. That's what I hit my arm on. She thinks it's so funny that I fell in the shower and hurt myself. What if I hit my face and broke my nose or knocked my teeth out? Or worse, what if I cracked my skull? I didn't, but it could have happened. It's not funny. It could have happened. I told you, it's slippery in there. See, Ashton just said it. She said, when I wash my hair in your shower, she's like, I'm always scared. Yeah, it's very slippery in there. Yeah, they use the wrong type of tile. Yeah, she just said she's scared she was going to bust her butt too. No, I got a, I just bought a, um, I did, I bought a grip today. I'm going to put it down. This is our Saturday night, y'all. 
home with the kids. Ashton went to a jumping place for like five hours with her friends. Ethan and his girlfriend went to the movies and now we are home. Um, they've already eaten. I'm heating up my dinner. Uh, it's just a meal prep. And I had some grilled vegetables that I put on top of it. So that's my dinner. That's my night. Y'all like my t-shirt? It's another one of the t-shirts Byron had got me for a... Uh, Christmas. He got a load. He got me a bunch of Beyonce and Aaliyah t-shirts. Yeah, nothing fun. Nothing. Tomorrow is Sunday fun day, so I'm praying it does not rain. I stayed in the house Friday. I stayed in the house Saturday. I have not had a cocktail in over a week. Well, not over a week. In one week. And tomorrow is Sunday fun day, so I'm going to go out and enjoy myself, okay? So far as tonight, I ain't got no shows to watch, nothing. I might. I was thinking about just going to the movies, just all by myself. <laughs> because I do have that AMC um, membership pass. So, I pay $20 a month and I can go watch. It's not unlimited movies. I think it's three movies a week. So it's $20 a month and you can watch three movies a week for free, which y'all know movies are like, what, 10 to $12 for admission. So I mean, it's, it's worth it. So I was thinking about going to watch Book of Clarence, but it's too late now. What time is it? Yeah, it's, I think the last one was like, is at 9.30 and it's almost nine o'clock. But this is how my meal looks. These are the veggies that I grilled and put on top. Then I have half an avocado. I need to scrape a little bit of the brownness off and it'll be all right. I need to call Portia and see how the house hunting went uh, this weekend. See if she actually found a spot or if she has to go back another day and, and look. I think she was saying she had to make a decision this weekend, if I, if I remember correctly. I do my corn on the cob. I got this from Chili's yesterday and didn't eat it. Got a little bit of butter. And then some Tony Sacheries. And some garlic lemon pepper. Mix that all together. Like that, like so. Like that, like that. Who I sound like. And then you can roll it, roll it up in there too. Yes, indeed. I'm so hungry. All I've had today was that little breakfast that y'all saw. That's it. I had a, um, three crackers with tuna on it. Other than that, I just haven't had an appetite today at all. So weird. Because y'all know my butt likes to eat. Y'all know y'all little niece, Ashton. She had the nerve to say, I don't clean. I said, well, how does our house stay so clean then? You the she said, the cleaning crew. I said, the cleaning crew only comes once every three weeks. How does this sink not stay filled with dishes, trash not overflowing, floor nasty, just trash it? How does it, how does it stay clean? Who, who, who does that? Because y'all don't do that. Who does that? Hello. Girl, these kids be child. I said just because you might not see it all the time don't mean it don't happen. When y'all in school, I clean. When I cook, I clean up. Either as I'm cooking or immediately after. 
that's just funny a child's mindset really really thinking that i don't clean girl i clean every day that's why when the cleaning crew does come they ain't got much to do so we're not doing it here tonight no because you know tomorrow i'm i'm gonna leave i'm leaving the house early why because i'm doing sunday Sunday. y'all have fun today i'm gonna have fun tomorrow I didn't do nothing today. I didn't go out and do nothing today. I didn't do nothing yesterday. Don't talk to me then. If you're just not gonna, if you're, if you're gonna be selfish, no! Don't. No! If you're gonna be selfish? Girl, bye. And spoiled? Then don't talk to me. Y'all look what Byron got me. Doesn't this look like an old school food stamp? So it's a it's a gift certificate for $25. It says good for any type of brand of ham, turkey, fruit and vegetables up to $25. From any grocery store, this coupon can be used for more than one item. Valid at any grocery store nationwide that accepts manufacturer coupons. So he's like, Mom, you want this? I'm like, boy, don't you need groceries? He was like, yeah, but I, 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 don't, I don't think I'd ever just walk in a store and use this. Why do men not like using coupons? Like, I'm, I'm like, yes, if you're not going to use it, yes, I will take it for sure. I am coupon queen. I love digital coupons, but to, <coughs> to hand over a paper coupon, yes, I will. We're going to bring it back old school. I definitely will. <laughs> It's so funny, me and my boyfriend, um, we be talking about like, just the weirdest shit sometimes. But he was like, who do you think you were in a past life? And I don't believe in like reincarnation and past life and all that. I don't believe in it. So I was just kind of like answering for fun. But I honestly think if people were reincarnated and there we did have past lives and stuff, I was just like, I feel like I was probably like, a really headstrong, feisty, mean, snippy person, whether I was a man or a woman or what. I said, because I'm so calm and laid back and just take everything with a grain of salt and just nothing really bothers me. I feel like I had to have been someone on edge, anal, like just the attitude like that's how who i probably was in a past life because some of the stuff that bothers the majority of people doesn't bother me and there's stuff that people get excited about that doesn't excite me i don't know i just feel like i'm so i'm i'm just so different you know what i mean that shit just don't bother me and I don't get mad like it takes so much for me to get mad it takes so much for me to get really sad like of course I do get mad I do get sad I'm I'm an emotional person like a lot of stuff my sister will be like girl that pissed me off and this and da, 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 da. and I'll be like really really you know so I just think in a past life I was somebody who was just like a little fire you know, child, then we started talking about racism. Then we, we were talking about things that are acceptable to say. What was it? Not, let me, not, how do I word this? So basically we were talking about if someone of a different race tells me, you're really pretty for a black girl. I told him that's offensive. Like I would take offense to that. And he said, when women tell him you're handsome for a white guy, he likes that. He like, it, it's like, he, he really likes it. And he said he hears it all the time. I said, it's different. For one, you're a man. For two, you a white man. Like it's, it's completely different. Like, so anyways, we had, I'm not gonna go into the ins and out and the details, everything that we talked about, but it was just interesting, just like hearing his perspective on like, everything and then just me telling him my perspective and stuff that I've been through growing up things have been said to me 
being a black woman and just, you know, so it's just our, our conversations. We just be, I don't know. We be talking about everything, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, I ain't got nothing to talk about. I really want to make myself a cocktail, but it's like, Gina, you're going to have a drink tomorrow. You're not an at home doing nothing drinker. You not an at home just end of the night wine sipper. You ain't that person. So why why is you trying to push push it today? You, that ain't true. You don't need the empty calories. Your face getting fluffy. Your arm stays fat no matter how much weight you lose. So it's like why? Why? Don't do it. So I ain't gonna do it. But I just feel like that would just be so nice and chill just for me to make a little cocktail, just a little Stella. You know, a little Stella. I never heard nobody just sit and watch Griselda. I've been talking to y'all about Griselda for, what, four days now? And still ain't watched the last three episodes. I need to do it tonight. It's almost 10 o'clock. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't going nowhere. I could watch Griselda. Someone actually DM'd me just a, a few minutes ago and was like since you like the Griselda series you need to watch Cocaine Cowboys because it's a documentary about her he, she said that there's a part one and a part two but it's from her husband's perspective I was like I bet that's good let me see is that on Netflix oh it's a movie oh a documentary okay but I think I think part two is about her hold up Yep, yeah, part two is is about her. But she said I need to go ahead and watch uh both. Hmm. Where can I watch? Oh, it's streaming on Netflix. Okay, I'm not about to watch. Maybe I'll download it and I'll watch this on my next flight. Y'all know you got a trip coming at. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all know I can't stay in Houston for too long. So let me download this. And they're kind of old. The first one is from 2006. This one's from 2008. Good morning, besties. It's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I'm excited about today. It is so nice and blue and sunny outside. And it feels so good. I um, hired a, what you call, a... Lord, at home, mobile. I hired a mobile car washing company to wash both my cars. So it's two guys outside waxing and washing my cars. I've never had a wax before, y'all, ever. Ever. I've only done, like, the little basic $10, $20 car washes from those chain car wash places. Hold on. Tyler Perry. One thing BET gonna do is play a Tyler Perry movie every day. But anyway, uh, y'all know I just be having my TV on as like background noise. I don't even be watching TV like that. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be meeting up with Tanya for three o'clock. I have not talked to her today to make sure we're still on for three. I talked to her last night. She said we're still going out today for sure. We just trying to get the time right. So Boosie is having a concert today at Southside Sporting Club and Southside Sporting Club Sundays is Zotico Sundays so if y'all ain't from the south y'all might not know what Zotico music is google it yeah and then a really big Zotico performer is also hosting or performing or whatever supposedly all of the tables are sold out but we do have two friends who are the promoters so they just said y'all come early enough and we'll see what we can do so we're just gonna try our luck and see maybe we can get a table yeah i don't know you know they're gonna try to hook us up even though we ain't paying for a table so anyway that is the plan for the day i didn't do shit last night i was sleep by midnight well, probably by 12.15. Sleep by 12.15. And yeah. I had me a nice, good old nine and a half, ten hours of sleep. I slept good. Which is what I really needed because, y'all know, starting tomorrow, it's like during the week, I only get about six hours. 
of sleep at night. And then, y'all know, auntie needs her midday nap. So, usually, I would say three to four days out the week, I get me a little cool little hour to two hour nap in sometime. Yeah. But I think I'm about to do a hair review because I'm tired of this hair. Is this hair still cute? It needs to be washed. It needs a little revival. Could I still wear this hair tonight? I mean, I guess I could. I just want, I don't know why I want something fresh. Maybe I will keep this, still keep this on and then just revive it. Yeah. I don't know, because the other wig that I was planning on putting on is a curly wig, too. But I was planning on doing wand curls in that one. I don't know. Anyways, I'm probably going to eat me some breakfast real quick. I don't even want nothing heavy. I think I might eat me a bowl of cereal. I ain't had a bowl of cereal for breakfast in forever. My, uh, when I eat cereal, it's usually like a midnight snack. Like, I just want something real quick to help me fall asleep. And a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch or frosted flakes will do the job. So for me to eat that for breakfast, I don't know. Maybe I'll make some sausage and toast something real quick. I don't know. Hell, I need something though. Yeah, because I woke up at like 7.30 this morning and the TV was on in the living room. So I think she came down and watched TV while we were asleep. Cereal it is. Ethan already made him a breakfast sandwich and Ashton's still asleep. And I'm going to mix those. Clean bowl for me right here and a clean spoon. I think I've told y'all before, my favorite cereal is frosted shredded wheats. I love cereal that gets soggy and I don't understand why. So. Frosted shredded wheat is my favorite cereal. Then my second favorite cereal is probably like cinnamon and sugar Chex. I like Chex because the milk, it, the, if y'all know what a Chex is, it's like a puff and the inside is hollow. So the milk gets held inside of there. So when you bite it, the milk like explodes. And this is cereal that gets soggy too. Also, Frosted Flakes because they get soggy. I guess technically all cereal gets soggy if you leave it floating for long enough, but I don't know why. I don't like cereal that stays really, really crispy. Yeah, now let's mix it all together. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. ice cube to make it real cold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let that sit for about five minutes. So the consensus is cereal for breakfast as an adult does not hit. <laughs> mm -mm. This ain't getting it. Cereal at 1, 2 a.m. to help you fall asleep is a shit. But then, I need to start my day off with something hot. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> it don't taste bad, but uh-uh, no. So I just went outside and checked on my cars. He said they'll be done in about 15 minutes. They look so good. Oh, my God. Now I'm scared of what this bill is about to be. Because on one of them, on the Range Rover, he did a wax and a wash and put coating on the seats because it's a, considered an older car, which is so crazy that 2018 is considered an older car. Anyway, but then on the bins, he said that he couldn't have done, didn't do a wax because it seemed like there was already some type of wax treatment on there because it's a brand new car. So he did a ceramic clay something and then some type of something protective coating and 
this and that, I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. How much is this about to cost me? But it looks real nice. They both look really, really nice. So I can't wait to see the finished, um, the finished little details and stuff. It was some type of um, protective coating thing that was like, he said it's like a two day process where I couldn't drive my car. He would put it on today. It would need to sit. You can't drive your car for like 24 hours and then he would come back. Maybe, was he saying he would come back? He said it doesn't seal for, it takes 24 hours for it to seal. So he said it's almost like a two day process. I wouldn't be a drive till tomorrow. But maybe he doesn't come back. Maybe that's, yeah, he don't come back. I don't know. Maybe I, I was listening but barely listening because I'm like, what, huh? Just just make my car look pretty and shiny. That's all I care about, pretty and shiny. Like, I don't care about this protective thing or that or this or that. Men care about that. I just want a shiny car. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Y'all, they just left and my cars look so good. I don't even want to tell y'all how much they charge me, but it's high. But, like I said, it's two vehicles, two high-end vehicles at that. You paying for good work, and they come to your house. So it's worth it. It's worth it. I, I, I spend money frivolously on BS, so I, I can't even be mad at it at all. Look at my baby. How these wheels had had it. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes, y'all know I love the lines. Yes. Mm hmm. And then my other baby. Brought her all the way back to life. Ooh -ey. Yes, yes, yes. What's the trunk look like? I can't even see from this angle, but I know it's good. Okay, y'all support a black business. Yes. And he said next time he can bring something to file this down and do the touch-up paint and stuff. Yeah, we gonna need that. Do y'all see how I revived this wig? Baby, she's juicy again. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I do not remember who this wig is by. It was in my assumptions video, so if you guys are interested, the link and everything is there. It's one of those put on and go wigs where it's already plucked, the lace is cut, everything is everything, yeah. I just need to put an outfit on, I don't know what I'm going to wear. It is like 67 degrees right now and it's supposed to get down to like 55, hold on. Not like I'm gonna be outside, outside. It's 66, yeah, and it's supposed to get in the 50s before the night's over with. So it's kinda like, do you dress warm for the weather? everywhere you go might be like crazy packed and it'll be hot on the inside that's my dilemma so i don't know i'm just glad i revived this hair i was looking crazy for a minute i thought i was about to put a new wig on and she did me right okay y'all we're done it is before five o'clock and your girl is ready okay it was supposed to be three o'clock but i didn't leave the house myself my nose is running. I need to take a little bit of medicine. But this is an outfit, a $5 Fashion Nova t-shirt. It says, stay hungry. Not hungry as in eating, but hungry as in the money. That's a dollar sign right there. Stay hungry. Make your coin, okay? And then some baggy Fashion Nova um, camel pants, which I absolutely love because they're long, they're baggy, and they're, they just fit good. Y'all seen these before. I've worn them like three times already. And then just an orange bag and then my Landon, hold on. My Landon sneakers that I really don't wear that much anymore. Oh, y'all can't even see, hold up. Oh, see, my skater sneakers. And then just a 
bunch of gold jewelry for my chain, gold hoops, jewelry. Yes, it's actually gold and silver mixed. This is my cocktail I've been sipping on. This is Ciroc. It is Old Smoky Moonshine Peaches in there and some of the juice. And then a pre-mixed pina colada. Let me show y'all. It's not that good. It's really not. Y'all know I just be doing a little bit of any and everything. This. So I just mix these three together. Made a little concoction with a fork in it so I could eat the peaches too. That's a glass straw, okay? So I can eat the peaches. I've never eaten with a grill in my mouth. Let me see, can I do it? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I can't chew. Uh-uh. I'm gonna show. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Kids don't do this at home. Okay. Mm. That's made for chewing. I mean, that's made for sipping only. Actually, while I'm talking about my grill, I need to bring my bag for my grill in case I need to take it out. This is what I'm talking about. Not the yellow string, but that. Okay, let me text Tanya. I told her she didn't have to wait for me. I said, girl, you can go ahead. I know I'm running late. Jennifer just texted me. She's coming home from vacation and her flight was supposed to leave like two hours ago and they've delayed it six times already. So she doesn't know if they're gonna stay extra night. Like this is so fucked up. I'll have to call her in a minute. Child, this nose just keep running like a fall. Oh, I said I'm about to text Tanya. See, look at me, I get sidetracked. Ugh. I just said I'm in the car now. Okay, y'all. Let me go. Bye. Nighttime, I'm a vampire, but I don't bite. Come inside when it's daylight, but please don't waste my time. I'm timeless, I can't lie. I bet I can hit it, give me one night. If I see the right light. We about to Ooh. open up the fridge. Get the drinks. Get the drinks. <laughs> Get the drinks. Y'all see that bottle of Ciroc hidden back there underneath all these water bottles? Yeah. Hold it. Oh, shit. <sighs> they told us they wasn't serving no more food. So all we could order was liquor. Oh, my God. You want a bottle of water, too? It's not cold because of carbon okay. off. Yeah, I don't like cold water. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. In the success, hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less compared to some of my niggas down the block. Man, we were blessed. That life can't be to be home by 11 30 is a blessing, okay?
I don't even know what to do with myself. I am so happy to be home early. Actually, it's not early. I left out the house around 5. So from 5 to 11.30, that's still a long time. But oh, I'm just so happy to be home. Tanya wanted to stay out longer. And I'm like, girl, you sure? You good? You good? And she was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to just Uber home. I said, okay. So she stayed out a little bit longer because we had met up with uh, one of her homegirls. But um, I was like, I'm tired. I think my body is still, just from being sick, I think my body is still in like recovery mode. So I was actually had developed a headache probably an hour before I actually left. And Tanya's home girl gave me some medicine. Y'all, she gave me a combination of medicine that I said, oh my God, I felt, she was like, you're gonna feel fine within 15 minutes. And y'all, I did. Like, I, I did. <laughs> that, it's crazy. It was two ibuprofen with one Excedrin migraine. She said, it can't be Excedrin headache. It has to be the Excedrin migraine. She gave me that, and y'all, I was feeling better, like she said, within 15 minutes. I still wanted to go home because I was just like, I don't want to be out late. My whole intention was to not be out like stupid late for no reason, you know. And then it got so packed in there that I was like, mm -mm. nip, 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 nip. Yeah, I actually wrote that little combo down. I said, I'm about to buy this. Next time I'm at CVS, I'm buying that and I think that I'm gonna keep that in my car. <laughs> Cause ain't nothing worse than getting a headache while you out and then having to stop for medicine. Like that's a, uh -uh. that's annoying. Okay, well, that's the end of the vlog y'all. I'm about to wash my face, get undressed, take a shower and lay my butt down. Uh, I don't know if I'm going straight to sleep or if I'm going to stay up and watch some trash TV because I can definitely watch baddies and it's Sunday. <sighs> what comes on today? I don't know if did Potomac come on today. I don't know. I just got to check and see what's saved on my, uh, on my TV. Cause I have all them shows on record. So that's it. That's all. Your girl is done. Zen zen. But I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'm gonna start recording again tomorrow. Come tomorrow, we back to the routine. We back to the basics. Back to school. Alright, love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.